it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this really pretty necklace with the little dangle in the middle using the bargain bead box for July of 2023. I used um, pretty much all of their beads except for I did use some of my little uh, crystal seed beads, the 8-0s. Because they didn't in this box they didn't have anything small enough and i always like to add um seed beads when i'm doing this kind of work right there because these blue ones uh, the wire would have shown so yeah so if you are interested in learning how to make this necklace then stay tuned okay so i'm starting with about 36 no 34 inches of beading wire and this is the kind that I'm using. Now I made this little, just took a head pin and just taking it a little above, and bending that and then cutting that like about maybe right there. My last video that I did turned out kind of blurry. I'm not really sure what happened, but I filmed a couple other ones since then and they've been fine. So I'm not really sure if I reset something or my phone or what I did, but um, okay. So I have this. Now I'm going to take, I'm just gonna use these. I have my stuff all over the place here. So I'm going to put this through here. Okay. And one of my pet peeves is when jump rings aren't closed all the way. <laughs> okay, so I have this. So I'm going to put this right here. Now I have this beginning of this kind of set up. Let me make sure. Okay, it looks like everything's in, in view. We, okay. So, except for these two, I'm changing these out. So I'm starting with the smaller one. And then this. And I'm going with the bead caps. Let me see if it'll go right through because I just laid them out. Might not. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. So we're doing like. Let me. I'm just going to clip this end because we all know. Okay, so I got that. No, then I'm doing the middle, smaller one. Then I'm doing another filigree. Another one of these pretties. And make sure these filigree caps, they're so pretty, but they're so thin and they have so many, see how they kind of like, you got to really make sure you put them on. So if you're making jewelry with these, make sure that before you go and close up whatever you're making, that you are, um, that it's, everything's in line. Okay. And this. And that. Look at, see how they're just kind of all over the place. So this is my second tutorial from the box. 
So, okay. So now I want to make sure everything is... Okay, I'm going to undo that little piece now. I'm going to take these up like this. And kind of make sure that it's... That that's even. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking this and I'm putting this through here. And then I'm putting it through the green one. Then I'm taking this, putting it through the jump ring, and putting it through the green one then. Okay, so now I'm going to take these two again and make sure and just kind of start pulling it so I kind of okay see there you have that little cute little pendant it's just kind of dangles in there. I think it's so cute. I like, I was thinking of like, I'm like, okay, what am I going to do with this? Gonna, you know, and I ended up falling in love with this. Okay. So now I'm, I always like to, when I do this kind of thing, I always like to do seed beads like right there. I'm going to do like three because they go, they go into there like that. And then I'm going to get three more. Okay. Then I'm going to do these blue ones. A green. And a blue. So see how they... blue, green, and a blue. I have that. Then I'm going to do one of these big babies over here. This is the front of this. Oh, how cute is this? Then I'm going to do filigree. This, another filigree. And then a green one. And then a filigree. One of these, and another filigree. Goes down like that, and we're gonna clip that baby. Now I'm not really pulling on that because if I do, then I'm afraid I'm gonna undo that. So we got filigree. Let's sand this, and a green one. So I'm kind of following a little bit. Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized I'm out of focus. I'm sorry. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> I start working and I'm like, okay, it kind of helps if you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> this, this, and that's another filigree. Okay. We have this so far. Then I'm going to do two of these. 
at another two. You see how that cap isn't, and then we're gonna do rid those. Well, I'm just gonna wing it and just send out a hope and a prayer that I don't knock this over. We're gonna do this, this, these two, and then one of these. how pretty this is looking. Now I'm going to do a small green one, another big one, like that, and then I'm going to do two more, and one of these. And two more. So the only thing I'm using, I think, my own is my just my um, clear seed beads. With they have a little bit of the silver in them. Okay. So now let's do this side. One, two, this, and two more. So pretty. Then I want to do, where's the filigrees? Okay, I'm gonna do another set of filigree. Green, another filigree. I have to get a few more of these babies out. It was really nice. They gave us a hundred of these. I was like, wow. Filigrees, these kind of filigree bead spacers can be really nice, even though they're kind of thin. Um, because they're so lightweight, they really don't weigh down your jewelry. You know, so it's, you know, it keeps it from being too heavy, especially because we have gemstones on here, you know, so you got to be careful of that being too heavy there. Let me see here. Okay. And I undid, the, I made sure all of these were undone before I started the video. That one's, I'll do that later. <laughs> okay. Nope. Okay. So, this is where we're at so far. You see how this, okay, I'm liking the way this is fitting around my neck now. So now I'm going to, okay, I want to make sure that stays there. So now I'm going to do one, two, and three of these. And then three on this side. One. Two and three. Okay, so we've got this now. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this off. I'm just going to hold this up and see how this looks before. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to move this over here like that just a little bit. So it's 
kind of out of the way, but let me get these up like that so I can move this back in. Okay, now we're gonna go one, two, three, and a blue one. And one, two, three, four, and a blue one. And then one, two, three, four, five, and a blue one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and a blue one. Okay. So see how it just starts getting, it gets a little, and then I'm gonna go right to, um, let me hold this up and see where this is laying. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this side, three, four, five, and six. So one, two, three, and a blue one. One, two, three, four, and a blue one. One, two, three, four, five, and a blue one. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a blue one. Okay, let me hold this up to my neck really quick. And see, oh, this is perfect. Oh, I love the way this turned out. I was thinking about this last night. I'm like, okay, I don't know how this is gonna look. Let me make sure I've got enough light here. I feel like I don't, but then when I look at the videos, they look okay, so I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna start with the crimp covers, and these are all jumbled together. Okay, got two of them. And lobster class. Not using the toggle clasps in this, um, just because I'm afraid it, it might come off. Okay. Okay, then I have the tiny jump ring and the bigger one. Okay, and then two crimps. Two crimps beads. Crimp beads. Crimps. <laughs> I love these little um, little things like containers like that. I absolutely love them. Okay, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna move all this aside so I can turn this the right way. Okay, so now we're starting. This is all um, that is. There's no holes or anything in there and everything's right against there. So I'm gonna take this, open this up, and feed that right down there. I'm gonna put the crimp bead in there. And then I'm gonna kind of Put my 
put that in there and then I just lift it up just like ever so lightly just so it's not totally like so tight that the necklace won't move because you want to have movement in the in the strand or else it you know doesn't lay right so I take that I pull on that then I take the strand and I put it down beads it usually pops out after like four or five beads I feel it coming out somewhere here here it is and then I will take this pull on it and then I just want to make sure that's inside of there and then I take this I close that up and I'll take this jump ring it's totally done I take this and I bend that back just ever so slightly put it in about right there and close that up then I hold this up like this and I go right in there. And I can use that to make earrings or something too, so. Okay, so now we're going to the other side. Okay, now we're going to the other side. And there's no holes there. It's nice and tight. And I'm gonna put that down there. Put the crimp bead down there, make sure everything falls in there the way it should. I usually hold it up like this so that I know that the beads are all laying And I just lift it up just a teeny bit. And I squeeze the, the life out of it. <laughs> okay. Then I take this wire and I go back down. Oh, yeah, I like to go down at least like four or five. And that comes out like that. Then I close that up a teeny bit to get that going. And then I make sure that's flat in there. This is turning on me. There we go. Then I take, I'm just gonna use around those pliers for this. Cause I'm gonna use them. Close that up. Make sure that's done. Then, that back just a little bit put that in and do that and I hold this up and here we have a really cute oh here we have a really cute pendant Sorry, I feel like my light is not really too light right now. It's 
So here we have this. I love the way this turned out. Just a fun little uh, beaded necklace with a little, little dangle in there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will leave a link below to the dollar bead box, or the bargain bead box. Oh my gosh, slip of the tongue there. I will leave a link below to the bargain bead box. Um, this is the July uh, 2023 box plumage. And um, I will also leave links to all of my social media below. And if you are not following me on YouTube, please uh, go ahead and follow me and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I would love it if you would share my videos and tell your friends about them if they're into jewelry making as well. It really helps my channel. So um, I will see you on my next video and you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.